Ben, uh, back outside now. This weekend, the URI Bay Campus is opening up its facility for a uh, festival of sorts, a science festival. And joining me this morning is Helen Chersky, and uh, she's a bubble physicist. And I have to admit, I have never heard of a bubble physicist before 8 o'clock this morning. So what exactly is that? Uh, well, my job is to understand how bubbles behave in order to count how many there are in the ocean and understand their effects on both the ocean and the atmosphere. What bubbles affect, how they affect the ocean, that's interesting. Now, how do you find them? I mean, I drive in the boat and I see bubbles everywhere, it seems. They are everywhere. They're actually surprisingly hard to count. There are two ways we do it. We use sound and we use light. So I've got a little demonstration down here that will show how, how we can detect bubbles using those two things. The first thing is that... Um, Bubbles produce pops every time you produce a new bubble. There's a little ping produced, and we know this because when you blow through a straw, you hear a noise. So here we go. I don't know if the microphone's picking that up. It is. Oh, I heard it. <laughs> but, so the way that works is that every pop depends on the size of a bubble. So it's just like a bell. A big bubble will make a big, deep noise, and a little bubble will make a little, what tiny pop. What are these bubbles, the, what is the effect on the ocean? Like, what is the, why do we care? We care because, so for example, if we... put it bluntly, how do we <laughs> Why should I exist? Um, <laughs> that's sure. fine, it is only eight, half, half past eight in the morning. <laughs> so, that, first of all, if you're looking at the ocean, they, bubbles get in the way. Um, when you open a... Uh, so, I don't know if you've ever thought about this, but fizzy water is transparent and air is transparent. But when you open... Look out. <laughs> it's going to be messy. messy yeah? When you open up a kind of uh, bottle of seltzer water, suddenly you can't see through it. Um, so the bubbles, even though bubbles are invisible, uh, the light is invisible, the water is invisible, put them together and suddenly you can't see through it. So if you're looking at the ocean, you need to know about the bubbles that are there to understand satellite images and things like that because they're changing the colour of the ocean. All right, we're going to get messy right here. <laughs> messy. So bubbles also carry things, and this is a great thing. Next time you're bored at home, you have a lemonade bottle and some raisins. This is a great lemonade thing to try. Lemonade bottle, raisins, yeah. So you open... Uh, not lemon. Oops. Oh, yeah. <laughs> seltzer water. We call it lemonade in Britain. Um, you take a bottle of seltzer water, um, put in just ordinary raisins, they'll make, they'll make a fizz, um, and let it settle down a little bit. And what you'll see, this one's been going for a while, um, what you'll see is that bubbles carry things, and in this case they're carrying the raisins. So the raisins are rising up to the top because they've got bubbles attached to them. They fall back down again when the bubbles uh, escape, and they grow new bubbles and uh, rise up to the top. The bubbles go. So you've got a little bubble ballet going on. Bubble ballet. Um, so this happens in the ocean. Bubbles carry things around. Yeah, like food and things for uh, other yeah, animals. Okay, so, yeah, I get it. Now right. I'm onto it. I'm onto the bubble physicist. Okay, what's <laughs> over here? Last thing. I told so this the, was going to get messy. Sorry. Yeah, the last thing. So the last thing is that bubbles are very important for gas that comes from the ocean up into the atmosphere and from the atmosphere back down into the ocean again. Um, and we know that liquids can contain gas. We see it on an everyday basis, we just don't think about it. So, this liquid is pressurised, just like water deep under the ocean. It's squished, it's got lots of gas in it, um, and at the moment it's trapped and it's safe. Okay. But as you know and I know, if I shake this up a bit and suddenly release the pressure, all the gas that is trapped in this uh, water, just like the gas deep in the ocean, can release that gas. So I'm a bit nervous about this. <laughs> oh, it didn't make it. Oh, yes, it did. <laughs> Happy New Year! Happy New Year. So, uh, so bubbles can do all sorts of things in the ocean. Interesting. Well, uh, you make a mess. <laughs> thanks so much for coming in. I've learned so much in the last three minutes about bubble physicists. You can find more information at our website, foxprovidence.com.